this is our last 13 minutes from like 24 hours journey. Seems like some things are missing. Oh oh. Hello everyone, Andres here and today with a new video. If you've seen the last video, you know I'm gonna leave for a while and at the moment I'm in Turkey, in Istanbul. I'm waiting for the flight to work. So unfortunately it's delayed one and a half hour and been already, we've been 12 hours on the flight with the little one. It was pretty tough for some moments, but we survived that and the biggest difference, as you can see, you know, the fact that I don't need to wear a mask because basically not too many people wear masks here anymore. Uh, it seems like the COVID era and COVID things are completely gone from Europe. And actually, this is kind of sad part because, you know, nobody asks, oh, when are you coming back home? Or when are you going to visit your parents? Everybody asks, hey, when is Natalia coming? The little one, when is she coming? And all the attention goes to her. I'm a bit jealous, I might say, but, you know, you get old, you get rusty, nobody cares. I think it's just a, just a point of life. So, it's waiting for you as well this moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, let's see how the things go. Okay, this is our last 13 minutes from like 24 hours journey. We're gonna arrive soon in Krakow. Everybody's very excited. Give it this one here. Are you excited? Natalia, are you excited? So, so. She's not excited. She's maybe not excited, but everybody's excited about her coming. So, that's something. Okay, this is Polish Apple Bun. What do you say? Give me more. Or... Oh. <laughs> it's been like 24 hours flight, like in total, and like I'm like dying. But this one, <laughs> this is what happens when you travel with Taiwanese. That's just some souvenirs and we're still waiting for more. Two people and one baby. Seems like some things are missing. Oh oh. After one month of traveling, driving more than 4,000 kilometers on European roads, like we took eight flights, we traveled to many countries and we're back in Taiwan doing our quarantine. And some people would say, well, it's gonna be very tiring for you, especially if you travel with a little child, you go like intercontinental journey. But I know it is tiring uh, and actually I was tired for some time but it doesn't really matter because this kind of experience for a child for us is, is priceless like we've been in Taiwan almost three years without possibility of leaving and once we left we could enjoy different things and especially for a child that never you know she has great family here in Taiwan she has friends she has great life here 
but there is a part of her that lives on the other side of the world and I guess for my mom, for my dad, for my sister and the rest of the family maybe that was one of the happiest events uh, in, in recent you know, years seeing her for the first time so I think it's priceless and I'm very happy we did it I'm very happy we are back in Taiwan I, I'm gonna share more stories with you soon thanks for watching my video I hope you enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already see you next time bye bye